Welcome to our how-to videos on using the equipment in the lab. And this first piece of equipment that we're going to be going over in this video is the uh, MTS Exceed, which is a tensile compression tester. It is one of the most basic testing machines in uh, the mechanical engineer's uh, lab, and it is something that uh, you'll be using a lot of. We have actually three different types of compression tension machines in the lab that we use over the course of the uh, program. But this is the smallest of them. It's a tabletop unit and uh, it only uh, pulls or compresses up to a thousand pounds, which sounds like a lot. But when you consider that our big one does 150,000 pounds, this is the little one. So let's take a quick look. Uh, again, it's a tens tensile compression tester. Here's what it looks like. Um, you can see that you have a set of jaws which change for depending upon the kind of material you're pulling. In this case, we have a piece of paper mounted in there. And we can either pull or push uh, the object depending upon what we want to do. We have a hand controller uh, to take uh, set up the test and get everything up and going. You've got your power on uh, here on the left and then a big red emergency stop button. But all this does is it pulls or pushes the test specimen and then we measure the load versus uh, deflection but before we look at that let's look at it from the side a little bit here you can see the piece of paper mounted in there and that looks nice and this head just moves up and down at a very precisely defined rate from the computer software uh, we said it pulls or pushes the specimen. Uh, you measure the load versus the deflection, so pounds versus inches, newtons versus millimeters. But it can also do stress and strain because stress is related to the load. It's the lo load divided by the cross-sectional area of the specimen, and the strain is the change in the length as the experiment is running. Uh, divided by the starting length, which is known as the gauge length, which in this case is literally the length this distance between the two ends of the jaws. And I say we call out the gauge length. So there you go. Now that we've seen this, let's go and see the machine in action. Welcome to our uh, instructional video on the uh, MTS tension compression machine. This machine is designed to pull or push objects linearly so we can measure uh, stress-strain curves. Uh, running it is very, very simple, but you do need to take a few precautions. First, you'll notice I have my safety protection on. I've taken off my watch. Uh, these are important things, not no loose-fitting clothing, etc. The machine turns on here with the black knob. This red knob is a safety knob. If something goes very bad, that needs to be hit. You'll see the hand uh, dial will turn on once the machine is running. Start the MTS unit before turning on the PC, because the PC needs to look for this unit when we run the software. The software to drive this machine is this TWE Elite. Uh, I'll have a screenshot in there so you can see that. And we will run that, and it will come up and have access to all our different tests. Running the test is very, very simple. In the menu that comes up, there is a folder called Custom Templates. And this is the one that we use. And on that are all the different experiments that we run on this machine. You are not to use the MTS template. That has been locked against you. Uh, that is there for me and uh, the other professors. That's the templates that we use to make our experiments. But the Custom Templates list the various experiments. So all you have to do is pick the experiment that you're running, double click on it, and here let me do with a paper pull. And the experiment is ready to go. There's a run button and some information to put in prior to the experiment and off it goes. And it's the same with all of them manual control. I can unlock the system and now these arrows will move uh, the head up and down and you can see that here I'm moving it up 
I'm moving it down. And then this wheel where my thumb is, is a micro adjustment. And you can't see it, but it's moving the head ever so slowly up or down. So I can use that to set my distances. I can actually run the test from here if I want. Normally I don't, I use the computer, but I have that option. I can then set up my different grips. These are uh, 100 pound grips. And what we, we, you can put a thin object in there and clamp them together with the wrench. And you will note that these mount simply with a pin through them like this. And you can mount them in either direction. And there's a pair of them. And you'll notice that I don't quite have enough room, so I lift the machine up until I do. And then I can place in my setup, use a ruler, and set my distance to whatever it needs to be. And I can do this with the other grips as well. In addition to these, we have wire grips, which are used to pull wire. Not too surprisingly, the wire wraps around and locks like that, and you have one top and bottom. Uh, these are gonna be used in the uh, copper wire experiment. And the trick with this one is you have to put one of them one way and one the other. Doesn't matter which way, because remember, the whole point is, is that we are pulling the test piece linearly, not at an angle, but nice and linear. The third setup we have, and I won't bother setting it all up, but I will show you, is what's called a three-point bending system. And that's this one here. This piece comes down. My sample lies across this bed that sits on the bottom. And this pushes down on it and bends it. And, of course, then we can measure deflection and load until breakage. So these three grips uh, or types of grips are the main ones we use. We also have just pads that can be set in. And this can be used for compression tests if I'm pushing down on something. So again, to recap, green light indicates that we have control, manual control, up and down with the arrows, fine control with the knob. And if we have a test selected, we can actually run it here, but we'll use the machine to do that instead.